Merry Christmas, Pint Size fans! All aboard the Woe Train! Welcome to Pint Size, thanks for checking in on Christmas Day! What are you doing? Go and... Go and... Have some... Cheese! Today we did have a very special episode planned. We were gonna crack into this. Goose Island's 2019 Bourbon County Stout. I picked this 15% beast up at the Goose Island London Brewery Tap Brewery. Pub? On me and my brother's annual beery Christmas day. We did it in London for the first time this year and it was great. As I said, we did Goose Island. Uh, we got all the way up to Pembury Tavern. We went to Beer Merchants Tap, uh, Howling Hops. Oh my God, what a day. Oh God. Oh, continuity's fun. I thought it'd be really cool to pick up this bottle to have as the final beer to have on the show to close out 2019 and the decade, apparently. <laughs> the beer itself cost me 20 pounds. That's almost 800 US dollars, uh, which is the most expensive beer I've ever bought. Uh, it's probably the most hyped beer as well. They release this one every year and people go nuts. Uh, they had a big old, big old release party. I was in bed at the time, sleeping on my bike. But then I had a thought, 20 pound beer, Limited annual release, delicious stout, 15%. Maybe I'll share this with my family and my friends on Christmas Day. Uh, so I went out to the masses, all nine of you, to see what you thought of this idea. And you all agreed, except for you mother hubbards. What the fuck? So we're gonna shelve the episode with Bourbon County Stout. If you check out my Twitter, at Ollie Hayden on Christmas Day, I might post a little something about uh, what we thought, a little kind of mid-afternoon pre-Queen speech post Sherrod's review. So what's our backup beer to close out this decade and close out another great year of fun and beer on Pint Size? Well, it's from Cornish Institution Sharps. I picked this uh, beer up in Waitrose, British supermarket, for 12 pounds, 12 pounds, two pounds, which was 40p off. The recommended retail price of mm, two pounds 40. Oh yeah. Sharps, as I said, is a Cornish and British Brewing Institution, they've been going since 1994. You've probably heard of them because of their Doom Bar. Mmm, Amber Doom Bar. Named after a dangerous piece of sand. Load of their other beers are nice as well. Their, their Offshore Cornish Pilsner, their Wolf Rock Red IPA, Sea Fury Special Ale. Fun fact, they're owned by Molson Coors and Doom Bar is Molson Coors' best cask, best brand, accounting for 90% of Sharp's sales. Oh yeah, we haven't got Doom Bar today though. Oh no. We've got one of their adventure series. This is made out of the brewery based in Rock, North Cornwall. All right, Rock, you fucking rock. This is quite a fun, limited uh, annual release from the look of it. Uh, this is Reserve Coconut Stout, 5.2% brewed with dark malts and coconut, making waves since 1994. Lovely little bottle with a little gold leaf effect on it. So really big fan of this. And I can even do the Goose Island thing. It's just like I'm drinking. Bourbon County Stout. So as I said, this is a coconut stout, dark malts, coconut, magnum hops, coffee aroma, chocolatey and Moorish coconut finish. Let's get this one in a glass and see what it's like. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. So here we go, Sharps at Rock in Cornwall, their Adventure Series 2019 Reserve Coconut Stout. If you are watching this one on uh, Coconut Day, that's not what it is. If you are watching this one on Christmas Day, drop me a comment. What beers have you got lined up today or are you being a designated hero and you're on the alcohol free stuff. Mmm, Pepsi Max, Cherry Coke. So there we are in the glass. It's probably gonna be nowhere near the Bourbon County Stout, but let's forget about that. Christmas is all about embracing what you have in life. And what we have right now is a Sharps Coconut Stout. That's looking mighty fine in that glass. Jet black, let's get a bit of light through it. Yep, nothing comes through there. Super dark, light brown head, nice and creamy, little bubbles on there. Oh, I love that. Let's give it a smell. Okay, smells a bit like coins. Kind of a milky chocolate instead of a rich, roasty dark one. Yeah, coconut coins. You know when you go to the coconut bank, all I've got left is coconut coins. Hmm, smells like wet coconut coins. What the fuck is going on? Cheers, Merry Christmas, Pint Size fans. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. This decade. Oh yeah. Oh, them sweet coconut coins. Hmm, okay. Oh, coconut coins. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so creamy. Quite watery. Five and a bit percent. Kind of taste that level. Uh, yeah, a little bit watery, a little bit thin, but when it goes in, a little bit creamy, nice dry finish. I'm not really getting too much coconut, mainly kind of rich, roasty chocolate. 
and uh, and coffee. What do you expect, really? Yeah, I don't know if I call that a coconut stout. I think I just call it cocoa. Coconut coin. <laughs> so there you go, uh, Sharp's coconut stout. Yeah, it's okay. Two pounds in waitress. You could do a lot worse if you fancy a dark, creamy beer this Christmas morning. And the fuck's having that in the morning? Oh my god. <laughs> Bleh. That just leaves me to say Merry Christmas, Fine Science fans. Hope you had a great year. What's been your very highlight? What's been your life highlight? We're all a family here. We share, we, we share stories, we share coconut coins. Whoa. And we'll be back in January 2020 for another brilliant year here on Pine Science. It's been so much fun to do the past decade. Uh, so let's crack on from 2030 to 2030. Oh my god calendars. Have an awesome day everyone. Thanks for watching throughout the year. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw and give me a follow on Twitter as well, at Wally Aiden. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.